cricket. It's an odd game. So what are the odds of this happening? Out. Lily is gone. Caught. Well, we've had it. Lily caught Willie bowled Dilly for the first time of the season. Lily caught Willie bowled Dilly. That's silly. And there's a scoreline which we had all hoped for this season, but uh, I wouldn't know if Dennis Lilly would hope for it. <laughs> Lilly facing Dilly and staring the catch to Willie. It's the type of sentence to make every school kid on earth secretly laugh into their lunchbox. First bowl today for Gian Mubrak. No easy task either. Nugget, nugget. Yeah. Oh, is that? oh, oh is that a freak? It, it is a freak. It's a freak end for Andrew Simons. You just got to have a giggle. Watch Andrew Simons tell Michael Clark it's his shout. Clipped it pretty firmly in the air. Hang on. If the ball came off both bats before being caught, then why aren't the two of them out? And uh, there's the nod from the umpire that I'm sorry, mate, you're on your way. Here's Mark Taylor in the slips doing the hokey pokey. It's out, I think. Up and down she went. That's the end of Carl Hooper. Beautiful delivery from Bevan. Plenty you put your right hand in, you stick your left the leg out, catch. you catch a third attempt, then the batsman's given out. Can you believe that? That is brilliant. He didn't panic in the slightest, but just flicked it back with his toe. Well, that's pretty well done. Wait a minute. Is this cricket or kick it? Well, who messed that up? I reckon that was Mark Wall. What a great take by Akia Money. How much does that grandstand love a handstand? The old cartwheel. Never look at this. I like it. Use <laughs> bowls now to Amanath. That must have been very close to stumps. He's knocked the bales off. Or has he used his hands? It seems to me the bales are still on there. It may be that he's out handling. You know, the, the same plan by Maradona won Argentina a FIFA World Cup. But India's Armanath loses his wicket. Didn't wait for decision. We'll watch that again. It's pushed down. It's going back towards the stumps. And yes, he handles the ball. Jimmy Armanath out handling the ball. And he gives himself out. Years of experience, off he walks, a very disappointed man, but a very sporting one. So this session is a vital one for the Australians, as Phil Simmons has dropped one down on his stumps. Very close to rolling back onto the stumps. He was waving his foot around, trying to fend it off. It doesn't look like more we can see here if it did actually make contact. Oh, it just run down the length of the stumps and failed to remove the bales. Well, you can't be any luckier than that. That is the first foot fault I've seen outside of a tennis court. Luckily, he got away with it. So Phil Simmons, as we'll see here from Stump Vision, a very lucky man not to get the back heeler onto the stumps as well. In the air, short of quarter. Watch here as we see the curator decide on the umpire's behalf that it's time to stop play. The curator, in fact, is running on the ground. He's um, coming out before the umpires. I've never seen this before. The actual curator is leading the groundsman on. Well, he must think it's going. I've never seen that. In all the years I've been playing cricket where the curators come out and saying to the umpires, if we don't get them down now, we won't get them down. The umpires are looking at each other. Well, that's a first. Well, it's turned black now and the storm has hit the Gabba. People going everywhere. The curator, he was right on the ball. He's got the covers down. He's trying very hard to get them down. It's pelting down here at the Gabba. It's I should add that no cricketers were harmed in the filming of this footage. And down he goes. But there was a groundsman who's never been seen again. Umpire Pru has called for a suspension in play. A sensible decision by the Don't be uh, fooled. Australia is a great destination for sun seekers. And you can bet that the ground staff want to get off there as quick as they can because if you perhaps even a round of golf. <laughs> Dean Jones should be bringing out the three wood, Australian not three helmets. Players sending out some helmets for the ground staff. <laughs> Dean Jones just doing his job as a 12th man. Giving the boys some protection out there. On this day in Brisbane, Mother Nature provided the drinks break. 
It was fierce stuff, I can tell you. The storm that swept through Brisbane, concentrating itself on Wool and Gabba and on the cricket ground. Water, anyone? Uh, lightning was arcing in the stands here. It was uh, quite sensational, but uh, not very pleasant. And the rain, it just threw it down. You've heard of the Indian Ocean? Well, that's the Australian one. However, when the weather is good, it's always a great idea to hang out the washing. Well, I think with all, obviously with the Victor Trumpet stand, it would have been expensive to build that. I obviously ran out of money right at the end. Now this is odd. Dear, oh dear, that looks painful. Is it a cheesel or a burger ring? It doesn't matter, but it's uh, having a problem. Uh, I think it's stuck. Lucky it's got a hole in it. Wouldn't be able to breathe. How many times has your mother told you, don't chew with your mouth open? Well, that's over the top there. There's a man down there. This won't be dropped. David Hooks is underneath it. He's out. Both of them out. Caught by David Hooks. Down on the deep extra cover boundary. Both of them trying to repeat the shot played by Randall. Now, I'm not saying England's Ian Botham or Eddie Hemmings were getting a bit porky. Because, well, somebody else beat me to it. <laughs> well... <laughs> There he is. He's got the Australian flag on. This all-rounder had roast beef, and this spin bowler had none, and this little piggy, oh, he's been put to sleep by the policeman. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he doesn't really want to know. <laughs> Looks a bit nervous too, the policeman down there. <laughs> Trying to get a few people what off the ground who've too? gathered around to to watch this. <laughs> it's it's like the lay of having an invader on the field. Jeez, I've heard of a tail ender, but this is ridiculous. Uh, there's been plenty happening. It is marvellous what you can do with computers and the electronics these days. And you don't see too many suicide rats around. Cricket has had its fair share of lighter moments, but here is a heavy one. Australian fast bowler Merv Hughes. Here, Merv shows us how to stay flexible, keep in shape, and court members of the opposite sex. Playing up to the crowd down there. We could all take a leaf out of Merv's book, and there'd still be plenty left to read. It was once said that fielding is largely a matter of focus and discipline. And he's gone high. Unless, of course, you're too undisciplined to focus. Oh, he's nowhere. Straight into the sun. Oh, that's OK. You should see him at an Easter egg hunt. It's the following Christmas before he finds one. Just watch him move around. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Mike Hussey wishing he had better sunglasses. Not good, is it? Because it's going to be on replay and it's going to be shown a lot of times. Australia's Mark Waugh could usually catch a bullet out of a gun. In the air and oh! Not on this occasion, and Australia lost the test by five runs. Mark Waugh has dropped the catch. Doesn't normally miss those when it's wide. It's a very wide delivery. Gets through Mark Waugh too fast, I think. It sort of hits him in the, uh, the midriff. Here we see Australian fast bowler Damien Fleming on a hat trick. Oh, he's got him. What a magnificent catch. Another one's gone. He's on a hat trick. Damien Fleming has already got a test hat-trick. Got another chance here at the Adelaide Oval. Oh, Warren dropped it. Can you believe that? Shane Warren, who got a hat-trick at the MCG, has dropped the hat-trick catch. Maybe someone should have warned him. Well, Shane Warren uh, will be distraught. Great mates with uh, Damien Fleming. Here are some Kiwis showing they really are flightless birds. Chance dropped him well there. In what would prove to be their worst ever to test defeat. It really was a sitter. Morrison got the edge from tail and he put it down at third slip. Edged and dropped. Second chance going down off Morrison. Proof that drop catches lose matches. In a cut shot, uh, they're hard to pick up at first slip because they are played so late. That was a tough one for great bats. Not to be outdone, Pakistan dropped five on the opening day of this test match. Hooked on, dropped. Would have been a terrific catch. <laughs> Including Michael Slater three times. He got a good piece of it and watch Malik there right off the ground. 
Oh, and uh, that's gone straight to Gully, and he's put it down. What a blow. So there we go. Just to his right slightly, and he was snatching at that one all right. And they've dropped another one. Well, that must be so, so disappointing for that young man. Very good length. He's brought to Slater Ford, caught the edge. All that gear, that's a drop catch. Bit of flight and just enough turn to catch the thick inside edge. And really should hang on to those, particularly off your own bowling. There he is, and he's got him. He's, he's dropped it. Can you believe that? Five to the day. It was there. He bowled it wide. Wall was a little bit tentative. He slashed at it. It was a sitter, and it was a maximum. Put it down. Jeez, there's more drops here than there are in the ocean. England captain Graham Gooch described this 1991-92 Ashes side as the worst fielding side I have ever been in. Perfect line from Devon Malcolm, and Graham Gooch in his final Test match puts him down. Good to see him making a contribution. And dropped. Not so much of a keeper as a sleeper. So England really have made a mess of it uh, in the catching department. It's close. He dropped it. And that's a big let off for Mark War and big disappointment for Lewis and England. So just how bad were they? Ask Devon Malcolm. In the air, got it. Oh, he's dropped it. That is unbelievable. It really was a lollipop. Back to Devon Malcolm. And uh, he dropped it, then looked around, didn't know where it had gone. Have another look at it. Well, it's a really wild slash on the up from Michael Slater. It doddled back. It was a little cuckoo, actually. Shouts of catch, and it's Devon Malcolm. And uh, has he got this one? Devon Malcolm, I'm sure he has uh, eye trouble. Catching by the way he tried to take that court and bowled. He really misjudged that one badly. I think Michael Slater thought for a moment that he had caught it. So does that mean? And has, no, he's dropped it. Well, a big deflection there, went flying in the direction of Rhodes, and uh, it seemed to me that he got his glove to it. Me. OK, Devon, here's some footage which will make it up to you. Now he's given him. Angel has gone. Might have been a misfield, but it was a brilliant recovery from uh, the big fast bowler. His catching may not be all that good, but he's just removed Joe Angel. He certainly can't see the ball, and he can't feel very well, and he can't catch very well. But he can definitely throw that cricket ball, and fast. But never let it be said that England don't get right behind their bowlers. Except, of course, if it's Darren Goff. That was in the air for so long. Angus Fraser got himself in a tangle down there. The sun wasn't in his eyes, that's for sure. Down, did it carry? I think yes, is the answer from Darren Goff. I have no doubt it carried. Catches win matches. England keep this up, they've got no hope. When it comes to poor fielding, this West Indies side really takes the cake. The wicket keeper again has got in the way of Brian Lara. Disinterested and distracted, they combined indifference and lack of effort to great effect. Yep. Well, that was quite an interesting bit of fielding by the bowler there. And the ball hit back at him. He normally would have just bent down and picked it up. Oh, and uh, that's a bad miss. Thank you, Richie. Just uh, a few figures on that. Uh, and he's uh, fumbled. Good shot, dropped him. Hard shot. Caught and bowl chance, but we've got to take those. Ooh. I know fielding saves runs, but here the West Indies saved running. It's been terrible today, the fielding of the West Indies. Ian Chappell's mentioned it once or twice. They get three here, two, two extra runs. It's, it's great running, but terrible cricket by the West Indies. Um, well, it's a half smile. 